Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to make a succulent garden or a little succulent pot. Um, it's a friend's birthday and so I thought I would do this for her for her birthday. I've bought along some pebbles which I got from Kmart and they're only a couple of dollars a bag and I've also got some array of shells that we get from our camping trips and stuff like that so I keep those and we can often put those in the garden as well so I'm going to see if they will make a difference. Um, I've also collected a lot in my garden um, a selection of cuttings from our succulents and we'll see if we can make some sort of pretty garden out of these um, and I'm giving it a shovel and we're just going to see how we go. I've just got some beautiful greening. I tried to get um, a variety of colours so some light green and some that flower and, and so forth. The great thing about succulents is they take hardly any effort and they really look good as they're growing. And some are slow growing, some are fast growing. So it depends on um, each particular plant. So I've got a combination of both. Um, this is just so that we can pop them in there. And I can always go get more if I don't think I've got enough cuttings I can go and get some more succulents are so easy because you just you can just break them off and snap them off and just put them in the garden they just grow they're amazing and even just a leaf will start we, you can often do that they all grow what they call pups and the pups can grow really well there we go um, see I've got some like like silvery gray ones and I've got bright green I just sort of put together in clumps. I've done a few of these now, so I've sort of got an idea on how they they all grow, which is really great. And even if the leaves pop off, which is what like that one does, they just grow into the garden anyway. They're just so good. And my friend isn't a mad keen gardener, um, but does like small pots and so forth she's got a lovely home and she lives near the beach so i've got the shells to sort of add a little bit of a beach feel if i think it needs it um i'm just gonna sort of we've got a a birthday party and, and we've asked she, she's asked that everyone dresses up in something starting with s um i mentioned in our last my last video that it, I'm, we're going as surgeons so i've got all that sorted out which has been fantastic and that was a pretty easy costume, thankfully. Um, and then I've just got one of these in a pot. So this is really good, it's, but it's like a ground cover and it's really good for um, if you want to cover sort of most of the dirt area. And it grows fairly slow. It's not the fastest growing succulent that there is, but it will really look pretty in there because um, these ones and this one grows quite tall so, and, and this is a ground cover so it'll look really good when it starts growing as well and she, I'll just I'm buying her a little watering can to go with it so she's got everything she needs and she can put it on her table inside you can have them indoors or outdoors succulents grow pretty much anywhere um, they don't need a lot of water which is great and she's a busy lady, she works full time and, and that sort of thing. So I don't want to give her something that's really high maintenance. But I wanted something made from the heart. And the great thing about homemade gifts, no matter what sort of gifts they are, you spend your time thinking about, about them while you're doing it, which is really sweet. And she's a lovely lady. She turns 50 this weekend, so I think we're going to have a... There we go. And so it's starting to look really nice. Got some more here. And I just fill in the gaps. It doesn't have to be completely full. But you can just put like this. I'll show you a better picture in a second. But I'll just get it all sorted. And fill it up, make it look really full. And then... So that's that, and I do need to water it, but I'll wait till I've put the bubble. So these little, as you can see, these little leaves here that have dropped off, they're easy. You can just pop them in and they grow as well. So it's just so good. Um, so 
we'll just get some more. We might as well throw them in. I think that looks really nice. And because it's her birthday, maybe I'll put some white pebbles. These white pebbles are quite fashionable at the moment. And they were only a couple of dollars, which is really good. This pot was um, $7 at Kmart, which is our department store. And um, they look lovely. Is that If that camera's wobbling, I do apologise. I think it's my table. Um, let me just move these rocks so I don't keep bumping it. I'll have to find a better place to do my gardening stuff. The red, it's a really hot day here, so I don't want to go out in the sun because you just it's just so hot, it's steamy. So I'm sort of trying to find a shady spot to work. But there we go. Oh, that white looks really good. I'll definitely show you in a sec. I'll grab my camera and give you a look. But I just wanted to, this makes it look quite fresh. It's really lovely. And you can spend a lot of time sort of placing each little stone and, and rock where you need. Like I said, I've done this a little bit, a, a few times. They're very popular. Let's lift these up, put some under there. There we go. And now I do have some shells that we got when we went on our last big beach trip. So um, I'm a I'm a mad keen beach coma, so I collect some great, great pieces of, I get sea sponges and shells, and so I'm just gonna put a few in there amongst the rocks. Gives it that little beach vibe. And like I said, she does live near the water, so she'll quite like that, I think. And these shells are really stripy, and um, you can, I've varnished them before, and I've, I've sort of made a high gloss. In gardens, not so much because they look really good as a natural. But I have done some high gloss ones. I think that looks great. And I bought this little happy birthday sign. So I'm going to pop that in so it looks good giving it to her. And I might even tie a ribbon around the base of the bowl. But I think that looks okay. I'm going to show you from the top. So I just grabbed my camera. So as you can see, it looks really good. I'll just show you around. See, that looks great, doesn't it? I really like that. I think she'll enjoy that a lot. So I'm hoping, there we go. It just got to make the car trip and then we should be good. So it can fall apart a bit. But that, like I said, just pop them back in and that will look really nice. I think she'll really like that. I'm so glad that I've decided to do that. I think she'll really enjoy it. Um, there we go. I think that's just lovely. So um, let me know what you think and I will talk to you soon. Bye.